Okay, guys, today we're at that old resort. Um, this is probably when I first started making YouTube videos. I came here a couple of times and made a couple videos. But back in the 1830s, this was called uh, White Sulphur Springs of Ohio. And people used to come from all over the nation just to come because they found out sulfur water had healing properties. So they had a bunch of springs in there, but there was like hotels, all kinds. It, it was basically a giant resort is what it was. Well, a lot of the customers that came here were from down south. And when the Civil War started, the place basically went bankrupt. Then the state bought the land and they turned it into a school for wayward girls. A couple of the buildings, at least one of the buildings that I know of, it's actually down the road. So they actually moved it from here down the road. And there's some guy that's lived in i guess it's like three generations has lived in that house but um i'm sure there's stuff here but the thing that's that kind of sucks about it is they're going to turn it into a water treatment plant here soon there's actually a sign out here now that i think's basically talking about it so um i had i had luck here i did find indians here i found some silver coins here but it's like a huge place and when it was the waywood school for girls you know basically wayward girls would be like troubled kids um young girls that got pregnant and there's actually a graveyard on the other side that has a lot of graves and they're younger girls like 12 14 years old and i'll try to go over that way and show you guys in this video for those that have never seen it, it it's pretty cool but the reason we came here today because we have a winter storm warning and i didn't want to drive down to the old park and have to deal with coming back in a storm or anything so we decided to come here but there's stuff here we just got to find it and um jay's gonna be here today he ain't here yet but but it's cold i mean it's pretty cold today but actually it's starting to snow right now see it and if you guys remember this tree here because we're definitely gonna come over and pound around this tree this is that video i made um tree of dreams and most of the silver and the indians i found were in here then I kind of went down that way a couple times, but there's a trench in the back and some guy that used to watch my channel, he does that type of metal detecting and he told me I should have metal detected in that trench because they dig it down and then it'll, it'll put you on the older stuff. And the reason they dig it out because the river's back here. So if it flood and the other thing is, is, is in the end, it became like a, a detention home for young girls and they closed it down in like 2014. Actually, the one time I was here, there were some people here, like I don't know if they were having a reunion, but like people that used to work here. I thought it was kind of weird, but. So basically the they just shut it down and they moved the kids that were living here to somewhere else. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as one of us get onto something good. Okay guys, I'm on to something. I mean, it's coming in in the 70s. And it's about six inches down. But we decided to come right over to the tree. I was gonna go in the back, but like I said, it started snowing. And like I was telling you, we're in for some kind of winter storm. I mean, this is coming in like penny target to me. I don't know if that's it right there. way down in there that's for sure it might be something big there it is right there it's that so some kind of wheel off a cart or something it looks like see that i'm sure it's old but pretty sure that's what it is so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay guys, so, so far I've dug two wheat pennies. I've dug like two holes. 
and then I found something cool like I got the top part of a cap gun well maybe the rest of it's in here too yep something else I don't know what that is so that's why I was saying this tree because we, we decided just to start around the tree huh. but that's why I think it was a picnic area because you're finding kids toys in here so that's i'm pretty sure that's it so i just found that top part of the barrel so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i got on something else okay guys i turned the camera on because i got a low tone but it's coming dead on the non-ferrous line listen so it's coming at 26. the reason i do that because i'm not for sure what gold how gold will come up because i haven't found it yet and like i said this being like a picnic area i think there's a chance of finding gold in here and when i was here before i wouldn't have dug all those low tones i would have went through and dug all the high tones Okay, there guys ain't that cool so what it is it looks like a giant spoon or unless it's some kind of plate i think it's a spoon but look how old this is see how old that is jay that's a spoon wow. so it's the the top of a spoon a large spoon like to stir stuff with and i can guarantee you that's that's got to be damn close to 1800s so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay guys, I think I'm on my first old coin. I mean, it's a nickel size. I think it's a buffalo nickel. Yeah, it's a buffalo nickel. I can see the hair band in the back. So we got a buffalo nickel. Can you guys tell? So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I got something else. Okay, guys, we're back here at the graveyard. We were at the gazebo checking it out, but you can see how these graves, but they've, it's, it's different now. There used to be like an arch here that you went through. You know, like this here is from 1884. All the graves are old. They're all from the 1800s. But some of them are real young, like 12-year-old girls. I mean, I don't have any idea why they put them in a circle. So this one over here is 1885, 1885. There's a bunch of them, 1885. September, June, June. I don't know why that is, unless they had some kind of virus or something. I wouldn't have a clue. I don't know why they're... But these are all just young girls. That's 1909, 1909. The only thing I can think of, because like I said, wayward girls would be like if you got pregnant out of wedlock, and maybe these all these girls in here died during labor would probably be the only thing, but they were real young. I mean, young girls. 
But you know, back in the day, who knows? But the last one I was here, I actually came up this way and it's all overgrown. Pretty cool. So I'll get back to you. I think we're on a metal detector around the outside. Is, I mean, most of it's kind of high anyways. Then we're going to go out to the road and work our way back to the truck. So I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, I found another relic. This is an old pocket knife. <laughs> it's actually in pretty good condition. But so far, I mean, we walked around. We went back by the graveyard. We come down through here, but for some reason, the only place there's anything at is over here. And we were just over here and kind of give up and went somewhere else. And I came back, I found that, and I found this. And I think this is part of that old resort. You know, that looks like a duck or a, a swan. You know what I mean? Doesn't it? I mean, it's not junk. I'm pretty sure that's a swan's head. And that's what it was. It was like a resort. People would come here and bathe and stuff. But I don't, for some reason, just in this section, there's good stuff. So we're going to stick to over here probably the rest of the day. Hopefully I can come across some silver. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on to something. Okay, guys, like I said, we came back over here. Then Jay's back over here too. And he got a signal and it's coming in at the 20s. I think he's got a gold ring, but it's a little tiny ring. Like a kid's ring. But I'm pretty sure it's gold. Because of what it's ringing up. I might, I mean, look at it, guys. I'm, I'm almost sure. And this is old. This ain't, this ain't garbage shit from modern. This is like some little kid's ring from a hundred years ago. And I'd say it's gold because of what it's ringing in at. Was it ringing? 26, 26. So it's ringing in at 26. And you can see where there's like little jewels was in there, but this, that's obviously a kid's ring. I think that's a killer find. But I, he'll clean it up. If I can get him over the post on Facebook, then maybe you can go over there and see it. Well, I'm pretty sure it's gold. It's just a little gold kid's ring. Pretty cool. So I'll get back to you guys since we got on something else. Okay, guys, we're calling it a day. I just wanted to get you guys a shot of this gazebo. I've heard we do the wrap up here. Plus, it's a killer view of the river. Like I said, this whole place used to be a resort back in the 1800s, from 1830 to about 1864. But we have no idea, you know, what they've done from there on. I mean, to me, I think a lot of it's been pushed up. Like a lot of this dirt here has just been pushed here. And of course, you know, the banks are are like square. They're not like, you know, where you like you would think there would be like a beach or any of that shit. Because I was here before and went down through there. Just a couple spots I could even metal detect. We don't know how old this gazebo is. So here's Jay's finds. There's Jay. But he threw all his trash in the back of his car. So he just found the three memorials and he found this gold ring. And we found all this stuff in just one spot up there by the that tree. And of course, here's all my crap that I dug. I dug all this trash. I found this. I think this is a swan. I think this is old. I found this old spoon. I found this part of the cap gun, old pocket knife. And I found a broke skeleton key, two wheat pennies, and a buffalo nickel. I'll flip it over so you guys can tell. But we were at it. Like I said, we've been here. The reason we didn't go to the park is because of the weather. And it snowed most of the time we was here. So I'm not for sure if we're going to go back this coming weekend. It just depends on the weather. It's not that we can't metal detect in the weather. It's driving. And it's like a two-hour drive one way. So, you know, I didn't want to drive down there and get caught in a storm on the way back or get caught in a storm on the way down there because then it'll just take longer. And we have to go down and start whacking everything out. So more than likely, we'll probably be back there this coming weekend, but I'm not for sure. If, if not, I'll, I'll find another place for it to go. So we'll see you on the next one.